Then, and then later on. Fans gathered around what serves as the start and finish line on a venue that hosted the mountain biking at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. The, the one of that competition. Some extra sections just to test the riders. Loop. Incorporate, which incorporates the start and finish of the race. Reigning champion, Jana Bellamoyna, not here. site for visitors and provides plenty of thrills and certainly spills on the bike competitors today will be aiming to stay upright but this is a sport that really tests your skills on a mounted bike and makes for a great spectacle spectacle fantastic not just because of the high level of competitors today but this wonderful course Popular side, as I mentioned before, not just for mountain biking, but for walkers, runners, dog walkers, families. A free event, much like the road race. So many fans able to come and watch line the entire course, more or less. Most gathered around the start and finish line, but around this course and our spots for supporters to watch the action. That'll be the case for the men's race later today as well. The organisers have put in some really tricky sections to this course. Some
One on the circuit this season as well, her 30th World Cup win it was in the Olympics in 1996 in Atlanta. The top eight seeds will be on the front row here. Advantage of getting that explosive start, which will be particularly important in a race like this. Almost ready to get underway in Kafkin Brace. Smile on the face of Neff. She really enjoys competing. are ready and away we go with the typically furious and fast start of these riders aim to capture the european title and they will sprint to get to that single track first corner Randall heading them out on this first climb. Bullock, that they need to get to, but they complete one loop of the first lap and then they head up to that single track area. Randall getting ahead, but she's just lost her lead already. Some of the riders would have looked to pace themselves around that first loop slightly and have a push to get through to the neighbor the corner. It's one of the new parts of the course. First ascent, steep and narrow. 
but all the riders got out yesterday and it's Eva Lechner the Italian been on the is now he is the first to take that narrow descent and you can see how tight it is only single space for riders here Just turning around that corner was Annie last of Great Britain at the moment it's Eva Lechner leading the way and Neff just tucked in behind her and Ferran Prevot Olympic bronze, bronze medalist is third in line and see how steep that turn is and already causing a little bit of a problem there that was the Russian Olga Grandjeva back of the course here shot of the starting gun and that was getting underway to complete that first loop before they head up Ney Bother. you can see that Yolanda Neff got ahead initially coming through was Elizabeth Brandau Loves a good start, but at the moment she's tucked in behind Eva Lechner. The Italians, of course, having a wonderful time at the moment in the other disciplines of cycling on the track and the road race. Stianelli winning that for them there. And they'll weave their way round to the Brigadoom, which the double track where the riders will go parallel to each other. There's an interesting section of a race on the course. It's the double dare section, rocks and jumps and drop-offs. Moment tucked in at the back. Alexander Gorska. See Lechner come up this climb here. She's digging in deep early on. Neff often is always in the mix, Yolanda Neff, throughout the race. Oh, it's a tricky section here for Lechner. And it's very, very steep. You can see the problem the riders that are having there. Back on the bike, not taking any risks. Tricky section, a little drop off there, off that log. the field at the moment. Shovska back in about seventh or so. Be careful. And this drop here is a tricky one. A little shout out, a little warning to the riders, the other riders. Hey. It was said, we see Annie last navigate that section of the course. Lechner at the moment just staying in front. There isn't room for overtaking, too much room for overtaking. There are sections of the course where that can be done. You can see dropping to the low gear to get up those steep climbs and see Neff having a little bit of an issue there. And the riders choosing to get off their bikes for this section. Why stuff? They would have gone around this course a few times themselves, not just yesterday, but a week or so before. Shovska back on her bike. Lechner, still leading the way, the 30-year-old. Her experience on this course. And the one, two, three, sees Lechner of Italy, then Neff of Switzerland, wearing that rainbow jersey. Despite that she's world champion, Ferran Provo just behind her, and then Gunrita Dalla Flescher, who have seen it all here, but she will know this is a particularly awkward course. Already, the riders have had to get off their bikes to deal with some tricky sections. Lechner there looking, see she tried to garner a bit of speed to take that bit and they know about that section and every rider there choosing to get off their bike. It's very, very tricky. Brigadoon is the double track I mentioned before. So far, so tricky. and a half 
kilometres each lap of this course, and we're on the opening lap here, and all the riders tightly bunched together, as you would expect at this stage of the race. And Lechner seems to be the one who's testing it out for everybody. Support on the side of the course for these riders. And they will take their way towards Propeller Point, which closes in on the first feed zone or technical area. Here's that little double track section I was saying here. There they turn back. You can see the riders coming up. Parallel to their position. So Lechner still heads the field. Not much change behind her. Hear the click of the change of the gear as they move between each section of this course. Shoska just leaving the frame there. Coming. here. Uh, Moina, the reigning champion, not here. So it presents an opportunity for the likes of Neff to retain her title, but others will be eyeing it up as well. Strung out here. Group of nine wanting to open things up. Just looking to be part of that group. Let them get away. Under the nanny last is the World Championship silver medalist from last year. So good. Comes down that drop there, a tricky drop. These riders often make them look easy, and they're not. But just walking down that is difficult. Of Elizabeth Brandau, who led the way the first lap. But the experience of Neff and Marla Flesher, you can see, they just backed off a little bit around that first loop. They knew they could save a bit of energy to push for the single track of the first corner. And Arla Flesher, with over, over well over 100 World Cup starts to her name, 30 World Cup wins. Olympic gold medalist. After we hear the word legend handed around frequently, but it's certainly justified for the Norwegian. You can see some of the riders here starting to come off their bikes in these sections. Now here's more pressure. At the moment this leading group. Front includes Linda Indergand, whose brother Otto will ride later in the men's race. Things up quite nicely here, this group. Which includes Catherine Stillman of Switzerland, Swiss very strong in this discipline. And this group of six now created a little gap from everybody else. Good 
Peter Dale Flesher. Now behind Neff, who's had a little burst here. Will look to move. And on paper, she was certainly the one to beat. And those who've watched the World Cup this year will know that if you can finish ahead of her, you've usually won the race. The line is now sweeping round the Pella Point. Into the double dare. And Neff digging in now to try and stretch things. Flesher going with her. And then the chasers, group of four, which includes Ferran Prevot and Lechner, who led the way for a bit. And this is that, this might be the move from Neff here. Well, it is just sweeping in on the blind side almost. She's the sort of individual who loves to compete. Always has a smile on her face, win or lose. And she's had a lot of wins. And the other riders now following in. Just a bit of gap now between the group. Annie Last is not in the leading group. British rider. You can see already. He's at the front enjoying a pretty healthy lead so far on the first lap, remember. You see leading the chasing group there. And Tauber, young Dutch rider. Had some podium finishes this year. And Maja Wyszowska, very experienced Polish rider. And there's the group behind looking to close things up. That group being led by Dutch rider. Ita Mikkels. Looking back through the field for Annie Last, who's just there appearing on the brow. At the moment. <coughs> so really is a punishing circuit, this. There's so much going on on the course that at any moment things can change for the riders. As Neff still moves her way down. This is the state of affairs at the moment. Neff is leading, and actually Darla Flesher is just behind her, and then PFP. And Indigan on their tail, just outside the middle places at the moment, but very early stages. Stoneman of Switzerland, and then Lechner of Italy. Pushing hard as we sweep Into this section of the course. just in there and these are three pretty experienced riders so far I mean Yolanda Neff is only 25 but some time now thanks to her success recent also Alinda Indigand Swiss rider to lead her way through some notable absentees to this competition. It's opened things up for getting in the medal mix, but the favourites have to pull themselves away. Just the first lap here. And Yolanda Neff 
looking imperious as ever. Arnold Flesher just behind, and then Fernand Prevot. taking advantage of the descent it's just as tricky when you come down this course as it is anywhere else this is that stop I mentioned before technical feed zone work their way up this route Yolanda Neff 25 years of age, still plenty of time to get uh, the gold medal that eludes her. Marion Prevot. The reigning Olympic champion, incidentally, is Jenny Risvens of Sweden, who is not in this race. And the bronze medalist, Catherine Pendrell. Of Canada. See Neff to send down. And Neff in those World Championships last year. Neff was the world champion. And then Ali last with that fantastic silver medal. It's a historic occasion for British cycling that one. And then Juan Prevot with the bronze medal. Here goes Neff now, looking to speed things up. As they close in on the end of this opening lap. She's sweeping away. Place as we see all the riders come through and Talbot. And at the moment, Neff striding out in front, but she can't quite shake off the two behind her there. Carla Flesher. It's her first lap from Neff. And the other riders coming through, Elizabeth Brandau, but really is a course that Tet real skills on a mountain bike not many have better skills on a mountain bike than Yolanda Neff see some of the placings at the moment some of the riders finding this horse tough going wondering about the allocation of the numbers on the front of the bikes that's the rankings the rankings of the riders Neff with number one on hers Seeing Catherine Stedeman pushing on. And the fans, supporters of Mavlashovska, who at the moment isn't in the mix. And Yolanda Neff, the world number one. And the top ranked rider here, the world champion. And so far, she is having minimal problems. Aaron Prevot working up that part of the course. Such a brilliant event, mountain biking, because it almost requires all elements of cycling. Ability to deal with climbs and drops and 
obstacles and tight turns. And then there's those sections of the flat. The beginning and end of the race, you need to have some speed. But usually a lot of these riders, they get themselves to that point and they built on the work of the previous few laps. Maya Koshowska at the moment, working hard to catch up with the leaders. Well, the leader, I should say, in Yolanda Neff. This is some of the checks in group here. Catherine Sternman's in that group, as is Koshowska. And this was that part of the course early on where some of the riders had to get off their bike, but this time Neff just powers through it. Feel at the moment she's looking very, very comfortable without tempting fate. She goes here. See her weaving her way through. You can still see her. If you wonder how much longer. Bit. She's choosing to stay on her bike there, Neff. Impressive stuff. The European champion has been crowned in this event since 1992. And in the early days, Swiss riders had success. And this has been repeated recently, thanks in most parts to the exploits of the leader of this race. Eva Lechner, who led at the start of the first lap. Again, you can see the riders getting used to the course. Of course, they've ridden on it yesterday, but in the midst of a race, I think like the experience of a race, at the moment, it's not proving to be one as Yolanda Neff gives herself a big lead. As we see replays of her completing her first lap. First lap of five. The second lap at the moment, Rita Dahla Flesher. Well over 22 years of experience. Riders like Ant Alba, who is, who is 23 years herself. And Ferran Prevost. Arla Flesher. Now, the moment. Ferran Prevost will be looking to at least go one better than the World Championships of last year with her bronze medal. See here. Mountain biking, but also walking and other cycle disciplines. This is what makes today so special. You see these elite riders negotiating a very difficult course, and a lot of them making it look very easy. Yolanda Neff. Is our race leader of Switzerland looking to become European champion to regain her title that she won in 2015 and 2016? Can she hold off the challenge behind her, which is currently led by Pauline Ferran Prevot with Gunrita Dala Flesher in third? Left at the moment her way uphill and Ferran Prevot on her tail working hard to close the gap to the leader and the race is back on again Rita Dahl of Russia pushing on absolute inspiration for several generations of riders I should say still Proving to be as competitive as ever. 
third place at the moment. There's another, another double track here. They leave technical propeller point and they'll go down to the technical zone again. And Neff at the front and so a good angle here. We can see the distance between these riders. This is the front three, remember. Where is fourth place? That is the gap that they've opened up so far. Impressive stuff. And these double track sections of the course enable riders further back to see the ground that they've got to make up. This little drop here. Be a tricky one. Flesher, and there's the stop there, picking up a refreshment, Neff. And they will come back round to this point before this lap is over. And Prevost. Pushing on. Just seven seconds behind Neff, that's not too much at all. And Darla Flesher. On the tail. Just four seconds behind Baron Prevost. Neff always loves to lead the way. She loves to push on, give herself a gap. Get out in front. Looks like her compatriot, Mira Schurter, who unfortunately is not in Glasgow today. At the moment, checking in. Indigand in fourth, 45 seconds behind Neff. So that sort of gap has held really over the last lap. Consistency from Neff, and you wonder if those behind will make the push. Wachowska, who was one of the favourites to get on the podium back in seventh, nearly a minute behind. Van Tauber just behind her. And some of the those who were uh, thought to challenge the likes of Neff, Ferran Prevot. Aaron Prevost just will not let Neff get too far in front. Difficult thing to ask. We see some Slovenian flags for Tanya Jackel, who won this competition the two years before Neff. <laughs> Neff working her way through and leading the way, as she has done for most of this lap. Pretty much all this lap. The first lap of the course saw Lechner of Italy lead the way, but it's Neff now at the front, a familiar figure in mountain biking. And just behind her, Paulin Ferran Privo. We see Neff again negotiate this section of the course. It comes down to the double dare, and then they have the Clyde climb, which is a steady climb to the highest point of the course. The riders will make their way down. A section called Broken Biscuits. Towards a couple of the new parts of this course. The Duke and Highland Jig with four jumps. Yeah, that can prove a cropper for some riders. Not so far though. Neff negotiating this course with the world-class talent that she is. You see here. Young and Talbot, at the moment, trying to get back in the mix. And Annie Last of Great Britain, currently 20th, two and a half minutes behind. As you'd like to know, Annie Last, World Championship silver medalist last year. She's had an excellent 12 months or so, Commonwealth champion. But Neff at the moment, the reigning world champion, leading things out, but PFP, Pauline ferran Prevot right on her tail. Don't think for a second of ruling out Gunrita Dala Flesher. She has seen it all in this sport, and she continues to remain in the mix. This particular race, and this is that climb. Not too much of a challenge in this World Cup season. Had to deal with altitudes over 
1,000 metres, the highest point of this course, about 200 metres, the highest point of Glasgow area. Watch again, Neff deal with these rocky drops. In the first lap of the course, some of the riders on some of the short, punchier climbs to choose to come off their bikes. But on the second way round, they negotiated it without coming off the saddle. And here's Neff now, making her way down and still leading, and she's just opened things up a little bit more over Ferran Prevot. Ferran Prevot, the bronze medalist from the World Championship last year, and Rita Dala Flesher right on her tail. You wonder if there's going to be a point here where the Norwegian will look to make a break past the French woman. Flesher, the only representative of Norway in this field. What a representative she has been for her country. In the Olympics of 1996 in Atlanta. When this lady here, Yolanda Neff, was a young child, a very young child. No doubt would have been inspired by the lady who she currently leads. So far, competitive race behind Neff between Ferran Prevot and Dala Flesher. And Dala Flesher ahead of Prevot now. And looking to push on and close the gap on Neff. That's her challenge. Push away. Get away ahead of Ferran Prevot. And at the moment, these two chasing Yolanda Neff. And then there's a gap behind. Them a fair old gap now to the rest of the field, proving it once again as we see Linda Indigand of Switzerland, who is the next of those of the chasing riders, trying to close the gap. She's on her own here and digging deep to get in amongst the medals, which at the moment are moving away from her. Back to Neff, the lead, leader, the race leader, the world number one, the one with one on her bike, and the one at the moment who can't be caught. And looking so comfortable as always. At the moment Britain's Annie last is about 20th or so in the field. Neff, first in the field. Just one kilometre left of this. Second lap, second of five laps for these riders. The first to complete it will be Yolanda Neff, who is motoring down towards the end of this second lap. Just going around the section here, be the bit called the Duke. And then we'll have that Highland jig that we'll take through to the finish. As we see, Anna Flesher and Ferran Prevot still in contact with Neff. We're not even at the halfway point of this race, so not still to be decided, despite Neff's healthy lead. She has taken to this course in imperious style. Carla Flesher, using all her years of experience to try and close that gap on Neff. And the pressure on as well. At the moment, Carla Flesher seems to have the better of Ferran Prevot. Picturesque rock garden of the Duke. The old Highland jig to follow here. Neff just moving around this course beautifully. You hear the people whistling around the course. That's just to warn 
the spectators that the riders are coming. And get in the way. As Yolanda Neff will come round now to complete lap two of five with nobody on her wheel. Yolanda Neff looking good. Interesting to see the split time here. Has she completed this lap even faster than the first? Neff goes through. The split time here, 37.06. She was 19.11 for the first lap. So just getting stronger is the Swiss. And behind her now, Carla Flescher and Ferran Prevot. The Norwegian in second, the French woman in third. 20 seconds behind Neff. And who's behind them? Can Indigand close the gap on these riders? So far, so good for this lady. Your picture here as we see those jumps. Looking so graceful over the jumps, no problem at all. several times before that this is a particularly tricky course and the organizers tried to make it more difficult here comes Indigand. this is a fair old gap now between her and the medalists and the current medalists it's a minute a minute off the pace Marla Flesher in second she'll move up as we see Lechner of Italy and young Ann Tauber they cross the line in fifth and sixth. Getting all the markers now of where the races are. Maya Blaszowska, well off the pace at the moment. Not able to close things up. Into Mikkels of Belgium. And we wait for Annie Last to cross, find out her position at the moment. It's Elizabeth Brandau of Germany who crosses through. This is Indigand who is fourth place at the moment Swiss rider who's rather who's later on in the men's event so far no movement in regards to closing that gap on Neff looking good Yolanda Neff to regain her title more of the riders coming through there's a rule in this event if you are 80 percent behind the time of the leading rider you're eliminated from the race seeing here julie bresset the olympic champion in london and she is well over two minutes down at the moment she was a surprise winner in london as we said it was her easy to say biggest victory to date but since then, only 29 still. I should say is reaching your prime if you're Rita Dala Flesher still going at 45. A few more of the riders coming through. Hopefully get a sense of where Annie Last is in the proceedings. Yolanda Neff. This was that point of the course where some of the riders had to get off their bike on the opening lap, but not this time for Neff. Just getting stronger and stronger as the race goes on. Looking very good. She is still powering on while some riders are completing that second lap. Two laps already completed, five laps in total. Three to go. The men will do six laps of this course. And they gauge the number of laps based on the weather with that little bit of rain last night they're just checking any last coming in at 19th at the moment just three minutes 50 behind the leader and effectively if you're looking at the medal places just about three minutes behind the medal places and last the world championship silver medalist in september 2017 enjoying one of her Oh, the best year of her career, but not in the running at the moment. And look at this here, 
Another section of this course is just so proving to be very tricky for the riders. Jerome Prevot and Marla Flesher making their way up. And Indigand, could she use this opportunity to close the gap on the middle places? At the moment, Neff leading the way. It can be a lonely place up front, but it's where you want to be. You see, it's parts of the this course here. There's a lot of logs and a lot of parts of the course which can prove pretty tricky. Now digging in deep, Indigant. You can see this double part of the track, Indigant currently in fourth place and trying to close the gap. Wachowska. The Polish rider who many expected might have got in the mix for the medals. But that section here, so difficult on this course. Proving to be pretty tough. Rita Dala Flesher. Trying her hardest to make things a bit closer at the front. Punishing nature of this course and Marla Flesher off her bike and this has enabled Indigan now to get into third place and get in the medal positions. Linda Indigan of Switzerland now, as we see. Slightly disappointing thing to see really. Gunrita Dala Flesher, the great Gunrita Dala Flesher struggling there. Problem with her bike. Perhaps or problem with this section of the course, I wouldn't be surprised. There is a technical stop for these riders very shortly. Yolanda Neff is showing no signs of stopping. It's a Switzerland gold medalist and a Switzerland bronze medalist at the moment. Ferran Prevot powering on. She's currently leading the chase on Neff in the silver medal position on the second lap of this five-lap course. Pauline Ferran Prevot, a multi-discipline cyclist, has taken to the road as well. Yolanda Neff. We'll get to see the gap here from this angle. Is Ferran Prevot closing it? She should, should be able to see Neff at some point. Neff just Slowing up on that little climb, and there's Ferran Prevot. And she'll see Neff now, and that will give her motivation to close the gap on Neff. Excellent ride so far from the French woman. Ferran Prevot. Every part of this course poses a different challenge. Got those tricky, rocky climbs and drops. And later, some jumps on each lap of this course. You see the riders turn back here. This is the lead up from Propeller Point of the course, some great names on this course. And they will come down this section towards the technical area. And the feeding zone where they can pick up refreshments. And Indigand at the moment, Linda Indigand, pushing on. Can she close the gap on the front too? As we see, Gunrita Dala Flesher, clearly an issue. She has to get her way to the technical point. Now, this is the point, perhaps, where she had it. Did she pick up a puncture here? She had to come off her bike. And since then, she hasn't got back on it successfully. Frustration. This is what she's having to do now, at least till she can get some support, which isn't that far away in terms of meters, but it is in terms of being part of the race. At the moment, Ferran Prevot 30 seconds behind Neff. She can close that, that's for sure. She keep Neff thinking. Here is Yolanda Neff, who has led. Is the first lap. 
nobody's got close to her since. Just enjoying herself out there. That's something you can say in such a tough discipline is mountain biking. There is so much strength and depth in this roster. And that shows just how impressive this performance from Neff is. Beren Prevost trying to close proceedings in the silver medal position. The moment our top three sees Neff of Switzerland and Ferran Prevost of France, and then Linda Indegand of Switzerland. And Rita Dala Flesher, who was in second place towards the start of this lap, has had a technical problem on one of the climbs, and she's dropping back now. Minute 24 between Indegand and Neff. So. He's relatively close to Ferran Prevot, then Lechner and Tauber, not that far behind Indigan, so we do still have a race on for those other medals as it stands. Shkowska in eighth place. She'll look to close things, she can finish strongly. Yeah, Landon F. Who, she has been beaten, it's been often on the short course, and in this sort of an event here, She's proved to be very, very tough to beat. And usually, if you get in front of her, then you are likely to be the gold medalist. And that is the aim of Pauline Ferro and Prevot, known on the tour as PFP. And PFP closing or trying to close on Neff. And she's enjoyed making her way around this course. This is our bronze medalist at the moment, Linda Indegand of Switzerland. And the Swiss also have Steneman in ninth place, so once again, showing their strength in this particular discipline. Don't expect that to change when it comes to the men's event. And Britain's Annie Last at the moment, in about 20th position. And we're seeing Linda Indegand trying to get in that silver medal. She has the bronze as it stands. Le Bresse, Olympic champion of 2012 in 10th. Seeing the positions of the riders on your screen now as Yolanda Neff is our leader, our, our undoubted leader. And Tauber, three-year-old cyclist. We didn't finish this season in the World Cup, 2018 World Cup series. Away from this rocky part of the course. And seeing, based on the spits of the moment, that those riders hoping to close things up have a lot of work to do. We are basically all pretty much at the halfway point of the race. Expected to be completed in about an hour and a half, this sort of race, but. Ladanef at the moment, showing absolutely no signs of weakening her position. She's just enjoyed herself on this course. Not a problem in the world. Era breathing deeply. She likes to push out hard. The applause for any of the people who volunteered on these games. See her work her way up now. At the moment. She is our leader. She is our gold medalist. Will she be closed? This iconic Kathkin Bray's mountain bike trials venue. Karen Prevot, it's hard work out there. It's a check for Annie Last, who's five minutes off the pace. Our 20th position at the moment. Tricky one, and Tauber has riders on her tail. And this chasing group looking to close the gap on Indigan of Switzerland. And that group has got Maya Wachowska in there. So seeing, just leave our screens, Gita Mikkels of Belgium. Very experienced rider in the field, just a year older than Wachowska. Lechner, Eva Lechner of Italy, who 
led in the first lap, the first part of the first lap. As the riders work to get that advantage into the single track first corner called Naybother. And at the moment, there's no bother at all for Yolanda Neff. Coasting as much as you can be. Privo pushing on and trying to make a race of this at the front. It seems like the harder the challenge, the more the great cyclists come to the fore. And that's exactly what Yolanda Neff has done today. Neff pedaling hard, not slacking for a second. Ferran Prevot currently chasing the leader on her own. Called it a chase. Once we get the next time check, we'll know the exact distance between the two. And there's our bronze medalist at the moment, Linda Indigan, who is just tucked in there on her own. Will the group behind her make things a little easier for themselves? They can see her, see she's got a bit of a lead there and you can't see any other riders behind her. So, so far she's consolidating that bronze medal position at the halfway point almost for her in this race. Aaron Prevost is appearing out of our shot here. So, riders, we see Eva Lechner here, almost coming, proper on the downward and then finding it Self on the ground at the end of it. A bad fall for Eva Lechner. This is the thing in mountain biking. You always have to look behind you, even if you do get injured. And that might put pay to Lechner's chances of closing on the field. In front of her, closing on those medal places. And he last at the moment. Back in about 20th position for Great Britain. And the riders way this is the back of the field towards the back of the field and here comes Neff and those spectators on the side of this course enjoying a truly superb performance from Yolanda Neff so at the moment it looks almost impossible that she'll be caught Down the course, the, the Juke becomes the Highland Jig. And the Highland Jig is a section of the course with four relatively big jumps. She's left that section with these and she'll come round now to complete lap three. And she'll be cheered down. Home straight here, two, still two more laps to go. As Neff, another excellent lap from Yolanda Neff, leading the way. Completes lap three, 55 minutes and 11 seconds. How far behind is Ferran Prevost? Well, I think the gap has grown now. The thing with Neff is she'll have no sense really of how far behind PFP is. But she knows she can't take her foot off the gas, as it were. Morning, Ferran Primo. Coming in, currently our silver medalist. With two laps to go after this one. She won't be able to see Neff from here. But she crosses now. The time check, 47 seconds behind Neff, so the gap has grown slightly, not by too much, but it's there's no sign at the moment that Ferran Prevost can change things. The only question perhaps in anybody's mind is, did Neff go out too hard? But at the moment, no sign that that's the case. This is our bronze medalist, Linda Indergand of Switzerland, who will get her time check soon. Find out how took that 
for her. So to warn that the next riders are coming through, and these are this is the group now behind Indigan trying to close the gap. It includes the experienced Gita Michels and Ann Talbot. At the moment, things are going to form for many of these riders. Indigan crosses a minute 43, so nearly a minute behind the silver medalist. So as it stands, we're looking at a Switzerland gold medal and a France silver medal in this event. So Tauber, Nichols, looks over her shoulder. Oh, there's riders not that far behind, includes Maya Wyszowska. This is the German rider Elizabeth Brandau. She is now chasing down those in front. Now, if that group gets together, I wonder if it'll be counterintuitive, really. Third of the Swiss riders in the top ten at the moment, Catherine Stierman. And they are some way behind Yolanda Neff. Some gap that Neff has opened up here already and looking so good. She's, it's almost like she's doing laps quicker every time. Improving on every lap, getting quicker on every lap. Absolutely no sign at the moment that Ilanda Neff is, is dropping off the pace as Eva Lechner had that bad fall a little earlier on this lap. It hasn't certainly affected her placing. She's still on her bike. Ilanda Neff, here she goes. And this section, of course, the Brigger Doom. And the riders at the moment, it's equal gap between Neff and Aram Prevot. And then behind Aram Prevot is the Swiss Linda Indigan. At the moment, we've got a Swiss number one and a number three. And this is the section, as I said, lots of the riders have had to come off their bike there, but not Neff. She is relentless. Prevot. And this is the case with these elite level riders. They seem to get stronger. They condition themselves for an endurance event like this. We'd get slower lap by lap, but that's not the case. Plan this course out. What well, they can pull off here. The moment. Wyszowska. There's a big name in Poland. Polish champion on countless occasions, and she also does some informative talks to people. An inspirational figure in Poland. At the moment, not in the mix for the medals. Yolanda Neff is the gold medalist as it stands. We'll get the gold medal as it stands. This is that section, as I said, that put pay to Gunrita Dahl of Flesher's chances in this competition. The Norwegian, legend of this sport, was in second place in the second lap, but had a technical problem on that particular climb we just saw there, and that put pay to any chances of her picking up a medal in this race. See, Jacqueline in 15th place. Uh, European champion and we're provoked. We're seeing a few more of the riders cross the line. We saw Gunrita Dala Flesher there, just shows she's five minutes, five and a half minutes down now. And a check as she just makes her way past Barbara Venko of Hungary. And as I mentioned a bit earlier, if the riders fall too far off the pace, they are eliminated from the competition. Just to clear up the chance of somebody getting in Neff's way, say, on a lapping. And that is a real possibility, the way she's riding. Absolutely storming her way around this course. Not a sign of an issue so far. Annie Laster, Great Britain, six. Nearly 
Six minutes, 20 seconds behind Neff. And in terms of the medal places, about four minutes behind Neff at the moment, pedaling hard. She has done for pretty much this entire race. An event that's been the European Championships champion since 1992. She won the European Games in Baku in 2015 and the European title in 2015 and 16 Yolanda Neff. And she is very close to doing the same in 2018. So again, the leading part of the course where they'll come round to the first technical point. They have two stops, or I uh, say stops, or moments where they can get a refreshment and a drink on each lap. And Neff will come round, and then she'll descend down towards that stop there, pick up a refreshment and power on up towards the highest point of this course. So how far behind now is Ferran Prevost? Has she managed to eat into that lead at all? Looking pretty confident in the warm-up yesterday. She could get on the podium today and looking good so far to get a silver medal. So we'll get a sense here. How far behind Prevost is. These sort of double track sections are excellent to see where we are in proceedings. And at the moment, Karen Prevost can see Neff, but can she close on her? Absolutely working. Some effort to try and get that gold medal. Do you see here those little jumps for Ferran Prevost? do make it look easy. Absolute class stuff. And these riders make the tricky very capable. The organisers worked very hard to make this course tricky and it has proved to be the case for a lot of riders. But not for Neff. And it has to be said not for Ferran Privo either. She's looked pretty good in this race so far. Looks to see, to see here how far behind she is. This stop here, this will give us a marker. She's closing things up. Quick refreshment, quick bite to eat, and on she plows. It's a minute now. The difference has grown. This is our bronze medalist, Linda Indigand of Switzerland. And Indigand who took advantage of the technical problem that Gunrita Dalla Flesher had. And this was her taking on those jumps. Getting through successfully. Rundrindigand. She picks up her bronze today. That would be huge inspiration for Brother Rito later on to lead the Swiss challenge, another strong Swiss challenge, which is at, which will be without the excellent you know, Schurter, but may open the door for the likes of Florian Vogel. But back to this particular situation where our fellow countrywoman, Yolanda Neff, is leading the way by pretty much a minute over Pauline Ferran Prevot of France and then Linda Indigand of Switzerland is just behind, or is a minute behind Ferran Prevot. Interesting to get a check after that if the chasing group for that bronze medal are closing. We are about 13 seconds behind Indigand, so we may still get a race on for bronze. Probably on the penultimate lap here. And these two 
Oh, well in front. Neff leading the way for Switzerland. Then Ferran Prevot of France. Loves to be on a bike. He's done cross country mountain biking as this is and cyclocross as well as on the road. He's only 26 years of age, but huge figure on the cycling seat. And Lina Indergand at the moment in the bronze medal position for Switzerland. She tried to hold off chasing pack at the moment, being led by Gita Michels of Belgium. And leading the way, Yolanda Neff. Geron Prevot not closing the gap, not closing the gap on Neff. And the question is, can Linda Indergan close the gap on Ferran Prevot? This sort of stage of the race, yeah, the riders now closing on the end of the fourth and fifth laps. Could be the chance where we see how much gas these riders have in their legs, how much they can make that final push to get on the podium. The medals at the moment look set. See the distance, just see in the back there. Who kills just behind Indergand, and that's probably the closest battle in terms of medals at the moment. There's the Belgian trying to swallow up the distance between her and Indergand. And can she do it? Can she get Belgium on the podium here? Indergand, 30 years of age herself, another senior member of this roster. Michael Soska, just a year. Younger at the moment in sixth, and those riders, the ones who may believe they still have a chance of getting a bronze medal, but time running out for them. As far as the gold is concerned, well, that looks out of sight at the moment for everybody. This course, they said beforehand this course would be difficult, be tricky, and it's proved to be the case for many of these riders. We're seeing Lechner come through at the moment in ninth place in Olympic champion in 2012. Julie Bresse. As we look at Yolanda Neff, the leader, the world champion, wearing the rainbow jersey and proving why she is wearing it. Neff just over an hour, split four, and that's using us to mark how far behind everybody else is. Uh, and they are certainly chasers at the moment. They are not closing that gap. And Yolanda Neff looks set to win a gold medal for Switzerland. Barring any hiccups along the way. And there are plenty still to come. But she's overcome most of them. Or pretty much all of them so far, I have to say. And Ferran Prevot. Second place. The silver medalist as it stands. The bronze medalist from the World Championships back in September 2017. On that occasion, Annie Last picked up the silver medal, but she's not going to pick up a medal today, really, unless something goes completely wrong. So many riders in front of her at the moment, including Gunrita Dahl of Flesher, who was very much in the mix for the medals and then had a technical issue, which shows you that any time something can go wrong. This is the chasing group, and we seen already they've pushed and pushed and they've swallowed up Linda Indergand who is suffering now and we do have a race on for the bronze medal and Maya Vlasovska there at the front of group leading the way and Linda Indergand going backwards for Switzerland goodness me suffered here found it tricky as we see them closing in on her Gita Mikkels of Belgium. You see, he's walking through Treacle there, or riding through Treacle. Linda Indergand seemed to be in a very strong position, even perhaps to close the gap on Pauline Ferran Prevot, but wasn't to be the case. Yolanda Neff, though, no problems for her. As they go past this. Point here, they'll pick up a bit of fuel. Look to close in on this fourth lap. And Brivo. We'll see if she's making any indent into Yolanda Neff's lead, but this penultimate lap here, this is where things really start to kick on, and we find out 
who can push through. Indigan so far has been forced backwards. Here's Yolanda Neff moving her way through this course with ease. Always constantly trying not to tempt fate, trying not to say that things are going too well for these riders, but Yolanda Neff hasn't had a problem on this course at all so far. Pauline Farron Prevot, an impressive performance for her, looking to pick up a medal for France here. She would have certainly been predicted to be in the mix before this race. And that's proved to be the case. Yolanda Neff. No sign at all that she's fatiguing. None at all. And taking these jumps, four airtime jumps of the island jig, and she'll power down. Work her way towards the final part of the course, or the final part of the lap, I should say, of this course, the penultimate lap. This little section here, watch this rocky jump. No problem. These rocky drops haven't proved to be a problem for Neff. Watch her make her way round. I'm having more problems there than the Swiss, the Swiss rider. Neff coming round to complete the penultimate lap. Our leader of the 2018 European Championship in Glasgow. Yolanda Neff completing the penultimate lap here. There's the bell to let them know one more lap of this course to go. Five and a half kilometers more for stand in the way between Yolanda Neff and another gold medal in terms of European Championship history. It'll be her third title and she's looking pretty good to complete it. How far behind is Pauline ferran Prevot? She's just doing that Highland jig now, so looking at over a minute, I would imagine. Well over a minute. And Yolanda Neff, as it stands, has one hand firmly on that gold medal, and Pauline ferran Prevot has one hand firmly on that silver medal. We'll get a chance to find out Soon, I hope, the Battle of the Bronze. It was being held by Linda Indigan, but she was swallowed up by the chasing group. It looked pretty tired, it has to be said. More support from the crowd. Pushing their way, pushing Erlander on. They know she's almost there. All in Ferran Prevot. Now, let's see how far behind is the French rider. She gets the warning there, and we'll soon see 1 minute 30. So it's grown by over 30 seconds on that lap. And Aaron Prevot digging deep, though. She will probably know, will feel that the gold medal is perhaps gone. And she's relying effectively on something going wrong for Neff. Here's our bronze medalist as it stands. He calls of Belgium. Pedalling hard. Looking to really consolidate that position as well. Will she gets any pressure on her position with one lap to go. I don't see anybody on her tail at the moment. So she will. Stands get that bronze medal. And Prevot, this awkward bid at the start. And they bother corner that becomes the Brigger Doom with its rocky part of the course. It's tricky descent, te very technical descent. Here's Meagles. So we're on. The penultimate lap here, one more to go. Ring of the bell for the Belgian. And she's looking good for the bronze medal and looking strong. Working hard and nobody on her tail at the moment. And this course has really taken out, or taken it out of a lot of the riders. On her tail though, Maya Blaszowska, can she close the gap on that bronze medal position? Somebody who's picked up so many medals 
on the world circuit at Olympics and World Championships. And then just behind her, Elizabeth Brandau of Germany. And they will have outside hopes of getting a bronze medal. But that gold is a long, long That's way in front of them. And Brandau on the way through, and they are so Tauber and Brandau together at the moment. And those two. And hard. We're looking further back the field. Here, Catherine Sternemann of Switzerland. She's on the home straight, or the penultimate home straight, to complete lap four. And to say, fancy anybody else really getting in the medal list. Unfortunately for Annie Lars, she's way off the pace today. It wasn't to be today. British representation will be in the men's later. Grant Ferguson. Keep a close eye now on this front three. Yolanda Neff seems away and clear, as does Pauline Ferran Prevo in the silver medal position. But not such a huge lead to protect in regards to the bronze medal for Peter Michels of Belgium. Here's Neff looking back at our leader in this race, who has been the leader since lap one and hasn't looked like relinquishing that lead at any point. The leader very early in the race was Eva Lechner of Italy, but she fell off her bike in the previous lap and has had to work hard to get back in the mix since. At the moment, not much of a race at the front, but an imperious display of mountain biking from Yolanda Neff who has shown why she's ranked number one. Eva Lechner, though, looking up, checking her time. There's personal battles to be had as well. But Neff here, motoring forward. This, so many sections of this course have proved to be pretty difficult for these riders. Pauline Ferran Prevo has negotiated most of it pretty well. And there was an interesting point a couple of laps back where she was wheel to wheel with Benita Dala Flesher, who took that particular ascent, short, punchy climb. She took that one first and then had a problem with her bike, had to come off the bike and walk her way pretty much round to the technical zone. And that killed off any chances, really, of her being in the medal mix. The case for Hindergrand, who was in the bronze medal position. She's dropping back through the field now, finding things tough. But uh, Gita Mikkel's not having the same problems here. She's looking pretty strong. Point at the second stop of the well, the first stop of the technical area, and that's the point where we'll know whether Blaschowska is closing on her on that bronze medal. You can see here, sweep round the double track section. Watch this. Will Blaschowska get off her bike? She does, and that has proved to be a difficult point. One of the more difficult points. Those new to mountain biking will like to be told, I would imagine, that coming off their bike doesn't mean they're disqualified or anything like that. They can power on. It does happen a lot. It's not out of the ordinary, especially on particularly difficult climbs. Let's see here. You see um, vehicles come around this section, being roared on by the crowd. We pop forward to Yolanda Neff, well in front and cruising to another gold medal to add to her roster to the success she's had in recent years, which has been superb. And using the word dominate, easily said, but she has 
loved and dominated many races at world level. Superb performer, as is this lady here, Pauline Ferran Prevost, who looks set for the silver, but who knows? It's all about how much they've got left in the tank. So here comes Neff. Technical point, the last lap. Swig of fluid and looking comfortable. And don't expect uh, to have a serious face when she crosses that line. She loves this sport. Ferran Prevot, 26 year old, in the silver medal position. Paul, junior world champion at some point, and into the senior scene and has taken to it very well. It's the final split there, we see. One hour, 21 minutes and 49 seconds for Neff. So we'll get a sense of how far Mike Van Prevost is. Now, a bit of, gr of a grimace here from Meikles, and is that a sign? She's just running out of gas. Vazovska, very strong performer. We'll try and push and close the gap on her. There's no closing of any caps. The Yolanda Neff, who is cruising here. Such a buffer she has. I feel like even if she had a little hiccup here and there, it's not going to be enough to enable PFP to get back in the mix for that gold medal. But she's just going to be working hard to keep that silver. Some eagles here. She feels she's got a hope of closing on Ferran Prevot. This here. She can see her. A bit of distance between the two, though, has to be said, because this will wind round here at this point of the course. But on her tail, you can see how far behind the riders in fourth and fifth are. Maya Vlachowska at the moment with Elizabeth Brandau of Germany just behind her. And they will get the motivation now. And they'll see Nichols in front of them. And they will push to try and close the gap on her, which is in the seconds, not the minutes. So Neff away and clear at the front of this race. Then Pauline Ferran Prevot of France, third at the moment, into Nichols of Belgium. And what's great to see here, experience of the likes of Inter Michels, 35 years of age, Michael Stroska there, 34 years of age. Rita Dahler Flesher in this field at 45 years of age. It's inspiration for anyone who believes that, feel that sport is a young person's game, not in mountain biking. None of the field are in their teens, and not many in their early 20s either. Tauber, one of the youngest in the field at 23, and that's level that shows the strength required, experience required to get round these sort of situations. So you see one more experience than Vazovska, or not many more experienced than her. And this is the chase for the bronze medal at the moment. Polish rider, the German rider, Maja Vazovska and Brandau of Germany. Neff away and clear in the gold medal position. Silver at the moment, Pauline Ferran Prevot of France on your screen now. And then behind her, Peter Michels of Belgium, who's probably a little bit too far behind now to catch up with Ferran Prevot. But she's about 24 seconds or so, Michels in front of Wyszowska, who will push hard to catch it. It might seem like a lot, but it can be swallowed up any moment if you're not The bridesmaid, really ever the bride in these a lot of these events over the years. Silver medalist, two-time silver medalist at the Olympic Games. And she get another medal. 
Michael's digging deep, and she'll have to now, because her worries will be what's behind her. The chase on for that bronze medal. Shoska looking, looking to close it, but Michael's looking good so far. Looking good to hold on. Meekles coming down now. Right is about halfway through their final lap in this part of the course. And you see, you can see from that top of the screen, Ivan Shoska looking to close the gap and closing it. Has to dig deep to try and get on terms with Meekles. That was the final split, which was a couple of minutes ago. Get back through the placings at the moment. Without any last of Great Britain. Isn't in the top ten as it stands. It's a difficult course and it's caused a lot of experienced riders. A few issues today. But Neff has had no issues. None at all. She looks set for the gold medal. Barring a miracle. Maja Vazhovska, though, has the bronze medal in her sights, and she is pushing hard to catch Meikles. Can she do it? Or can the Belgian hold her off for that bronze medal? The gold with Neff, who leads the way, the world champion. The woman who was European champion in 2015 and 2016. Hear her breathing deeply. Looking good. Pauline Ferran Prevot, who's been in second place for pretty much all of the race as well since that second lap. Pushing on in the click of the gears as the riders negotiate these final few climbs. And look at this now. Blaszowska, she can see Mikkels in her sights, and Mikkels is digging deep, trying not to let that gap close. But you feel Blaszowska looking strong. And Maja Vlaszowska of Poland, the world number three, ranked two at this event. And Brandau, don't count her out either, Elizabeth Brandau of Germany. And Tauber of the Netherlands. Are we going to have a frantic final push here for the bronze medal? Looks the case, how much has Tauber got left? And this is really the battle for bronze is between, you could say, about four riders at the moment. Depends. If a rider tired very quickly, that gap could be swallowed up. And they're all working hard. And Talbot was tipped to win a lot more races on the World Cup circuit in the future. She's certainly got time on her side. But it's two of the older members of the mountain bike fraternity. Ita Mikuls and Maja Blaszowska who are battling for that third place on the podium that will give their country a bronze medal. Yolanda Neff leading the way. Pauline ferran Privo, well over a minute behind her. Let's have a look here. Mikuls is Blaszowska closing. I'm not sure she is at the moment. That Clyde climb. Awkward part of the course as we see Yolanda Neff now pedalling home. She's almost there. And she'll very shortly hear the roar of the crowd to bring her home. Yolanda Neff. Who was led from the front pretty much from the start. A 25 year old who looks so good on the World Cup circuit has brought this form to Glasgow, has brought this form to Scotland, and is about to come round here to the roar of the crowd. She celebrates with metres to go, Yolanda Neff, imperious, brilliant, fantastic.
a wheelie to celebrate. She is the gold medalist. She is the European champion for Switzerland. Yolanda Neff, what a performance. What a rider. And there's that smile we've seen so many times on the tour. And she'll hug her team. A brilliant display. At no point, really, did her gold medal look under threat. Always in control, always in charge. A deserving swig of water. Wouldn't be surprised if she finishes that. The European champion. Team bike champion, the cross-country event, which is the event held in the Olympic Games. And she's coped with all aspects of this course. She was never threatened. She was superb, Yolanda Neff. And we're watching her here because that's how far back second place is at the moment. Pauline ferran Prevot, who's had an excellent ride of her, herself, really. She is coming through now, well over a minute behind Neff. But very comfortable in that silver medal position. Laurent Prevot of France. Give an element of success to the French in cycling. A sport that country really values. And this will be a popular silver medalist. PFP, Pauline Ferran Prevot will come round this final bend. And she'll hear the crowd here. As she comes through, takes one final look behind her. She knows the silver medal is hers. And she can afford a smile, that's for sure. A medal is a medal. Second place to France. Second place, the silver medal to Pauline ferrand Prevot. Just over two minutes behind that lady there, who's already being interviewed. And the riders will come round to complete this course. What a powerhouse she is in this event. And this is our bronze medalist, Ita Michels. Michaels dropping down, a few twists and turns. Highland jig. This is supposed to be the final little challenge here for these riders. It'll be interesting to see in the interview afterwards what how they felt about competing on this course. What a challenge it's been for so many of them. Not quite for Neff, who made it look easy. And most of these riders make many parts of this course look easy. But here's our bronze medalist, Gita Meikles. No one on her tail, really. And she pushes through. She was well back in the field for the first few laps, but she's powered on. There she goes. She knows the bronze medal's hers, a very popular bronze medal as well. The Belgian cycling team celebrates a bronze medal. The final push to get her there. Gita Mikkels finishes third and is the bronze medalist. And a wave to the crowd from Maya Plaszowska. Wasn't to be for her today as far as a medal was concerned, but a very merited fourth place. But Mikkels absolutely delighted. She's not been in the mix of the World Cup scene this season. But at the big competition here, she's got herself on the rostrum. And here's the fifth place. At the moment, Maya Wachowska in fourth. And Elizabeth Brandau. In all those positions slightly because we know our podium. And Tauber. It's down in... Place, or fifth place, I should say, sixth place. If you look at Maya Blaszowska, such a popular figure in the tour. Yolanda Neff, what a race. Uh, you didn't have any opponent, uh, you took another title. Yeah, it's really a dream for me to win here today. It means a lot to those European Championships. I've won this title already two times. And uh, last year I crashed, I missed out. And uh, to come back now here and to win for the third time, it's really a dream coming true for me. 
you have a great condition now, but we had the feeling that you won this title also thanks to your great skills in the downhill sections. I had so much fun today on this track. I, I love those corners, the jumps. Uh, it's uh, basically every 10 meters there's another corner and I love the downhills and I knew that my advantage would really be in the descent. So I tried from the very first uh, lap on, I tried to ride my own pace so I could uh, ride my speed in the uphills and take advantage in the downhills. And yes, it was so much fun. And now what's about your next goals? Uh, we fly uh, to Canada tomorrow morning, uh, very early, and then we have the next World Cup already on Friday, short track, and uh, Sunday uh, the cross country, and I'm the leader in that World Cup, so uh, that's, uh, that's my next big goal. So congratulations again and enjoy your title. Thank you very much, thank you. Well, listening to Yolanda there, you know how much this title means to her. He's straight back in action on the World Cup circuit on Friday. And that just shows how much she wanted to be here in Glasgow, how important it is for her to be European champion for a third time in four years. Didn't happen for her last time in last year, but she's proved her worth once again. Little celebration, the little wheelie just before the line. And that's the time to do it when you know you're comfortable. She could have crawled across there. And this was her celebration. She crossed the line. The Swiss team so strong in this event. We've seen a Swiss winner today in the women's event. And one of the favourites will be Swiss later on. Florian Vogel. See the last few riders cross the line. Bertolini of Italy. A punishing course it's proved to be. Doesn't to be for Indigan there. Linda Indigan, she's disappointed. She knew the bronze medal was in her position at some point. And there's the popular figure of Tanya Shekel. Lots of supporters here today, the ex-champion. It wasn't to be for her. Riders still battling, though, for places, still trying to force their way through to good times. Arla Flesher wasn't to be her tournament, really. Just a brief shot of Julie Bresset, the former Olympic champion. Lechner, who had a bit of a nasty fall earlier. She's cleaning her up. You see her on her feet. Particularly pretty at first. Finishes here. Jorantieva, Russia. The two Russian representatives in this field. She'll cross the line here. There's 37 competitors in total. Riders having to do their media duties, and there's our podium there. We just saw a brief shot off. Group of riders. Camaraderie on this tour. Usually through the year, they're riding for professional teams, riding for their countries principally today. Adel Morat of Germany coming through now, 16th place. We will see Annie last soon. Get a sense of her time. Pushing hard here. The last few riders. Looking to sells over the line. Check rider. Barbara Benko of Hungary who faded on that last lap. She was in that chasing group for the bronze medal and just fell off towards the end. 37 riders took on the challenge here. To see all the fans still waiting to see everybody come through this tricky course. What a challenge it's been for the riders. We see the colours of the Belgian flag. Tamikos. Not many would have had her in the top three, but she's produced an excellent performance today. And all the riders smiling at the start of the race, ready to go. They knew it was a tough course, and it proved to be the case. 
fast and furious start. Eva Lechner led the way early on, but eventually it was a front three that broke away of Neff, Dala Flesher, and Ferran Prevot. And then eventually Yolanda Neff storming away from the competition and never relinquished that lead. Ferran Prevot chased hard, and once Rita Dala Flesher had dropped off, then Ferran Prevot was never challenged for that silver medal. That's the section where it all went wrong for the Norwegian veteran. Ferran Prevot chased hard, and then from the back of the field, or the middle of the field, Gita Mikkels pushed through for a bronze medal. But the gold to Yolanda Neff. Here's confirmation of how the riders finished the top ten. Four Swiss riders in it, but most importantly, number one position, Yolanda Neff. One hour, 31 minutes and 29 seconds for the course. To complete it, two minutes behind Pauline Ferran Prevot and just over a minute behind Ita Mikkels of Belgium. When we look down the field for the other riders, Rita Dala Flesher with that bike problem means she ends in rookie number 13th place. Brabenko dropping back the field, the field as well. Julie Bresse, the Olympic champion 2012, in 11th place. So all the top 20 placings there. Unfortunately for Annie Last, couldn't make the top 20. And Yolanda Neff, that smile, that trademark smile. It's one of those athletes who you know really enjoys competing, really enjoys riding. And enjoys winning, of course. Who doesn't? And she wins a lot. Her third European title. And to reclaim it as well. At the 2017 event, she had a crash, which prevented her from retaining her title on that occasion. But she's come here to Glasgow, to Scotland, and regained it. And Pauline Ferran Prevot, an excellent silver medal for her. Say, as far as she's concerned, one of her best performances of her career. Peter Meikles digging in deep because Maja Vlashovska was on her tail, believe it or not. And that's how much a bronze medal means to somebody who's been in the sport for so long. And that's how much it means for the Belgian team. Thirty-five years of age. To think back in the 2016 Olympics, she was back in 21st. We see more of the riders cross the finishing line. Claudia, Alicia, and this is just an example of how tough this course is. It is a tough one. This is the. Um, this course is open to the public, effectively. And I imagine lots of people have been inspired to give it a go. See how you get on. As we see the Russian, Guzel Akhmodulina. Seeing the line now in about 28 position. 87 competitors in total. We see the last few riders cross the line. And it's sometimes, in this sort of situation, it's just completing a course like this which is worth it. It's a tough old task this about 14 minutes off the pace of Yolanda Neff and what a pace it was that she set still looking at the last few riders finishing this course off and that's worth something in itself it really is what an occasion it's been today Polish rider Alexandra Podgorska coming through to finish off she's on her own here feeling you get when you complete a course. There's five laps of this course, about 27 and a half kilometers. And 
We'll see all the riders cross the line before we get into the medal ceremony. See the print being built here. What, a, what support for these riders as well as they cross the line. The fans, many of them staying on the course. Just a couple more riders coming through now. Finishing themselves. Hopefully we'll see Annie Last finishing the course. Waiting to hear news about her timing. So we should see Montero of Portugal coming through very shortly to finish off. She's not going to make it. Oh, she's not going to make it. So the shows proves once again how difficult a course it was. What a challenge. Neff made it look easy, but it certainly wasn't. And they've just shut the course off now, so that's it as far as the riders are concerned. And then all the fans now gathering to see the presentation of the medals. And they'll have enjoyed themselves today, world-class mountain biking. And there's more to come later with the men as well. And they have seen what the women have been through here. <laughs> Many of them won't be looking forward to this course. Some great action still to come, and we've seen some great action today. We will stay for the medal ceremony here, so don't go anywhere. The fans aren't going anywhere. And these fans here, to say they've enjoyed themselves is an understatement. They have supported the riders through, not just the leading riders, but those towards the back of the field. You can see it's one of those events where you can clearly see how tough things can go and things can get. It's also a unique event in that the fans can get right up close to the action. It's free for members of the public to watch. And here's a reminder, a recap of the result. Yolanda Neff, two minutes in front of Pauline Ferrer. Prevot, who got the silver medal for... was about to get the silver medal for France. And then Gita Mikuls, a popular third place there, just in front of Maja Wlaszowska of Poland. And we look back through the other finishers. Serena Calvetti of Italy in 20th, 10 minutes behind Yolanda Neff, who really prepared well for this course. Garita Dala Flesher, who was in the top three for the first couple of laps, dropped off after a technical error and couldn't get herself back onto it. And uh, unfortunately for Annie Last, she couldn't complete the course in the regulated time. Once you fall off it, then you get through didn't finish in the end disappointment for the brit who was the world championship silver medalist remember and the commonwealth gold medalist but it wasn't to be any last today and she'll look again head to the world championships the british team has already chosen and we'll go to that for now the last focus here on the presentation of the medals for the european champion women's event who we pretty much felt from the second lap really that it would be that lady on the right there Yolanda Neff and having her patriot there Probably a bit of sympathy really for Linda Indergaard who was very pretty disappointed really when she crossed the line but if you want to see the opposite of disappointment is this lady here Yolanda Neff the winner of the European Championship for a third time in four years. And wearing that rainbow jersey because she is the reigning world champion as well. And she looked to defend her title very soon. And there's the wheelie. And that'll be one of the images of this competition. And the celebrations of the competition as well. And she could afford to do that because she was two minutes, over two minutes in front of Pauline Ferran Prevost. And she proved what a talent she is, the young Swiss. And it's easy to forget she is still young. 25 years of age. Here's that celebration from a different angle. And we wait for the wheelie. There it is. And the crowd enjoyed that. See all the members of the public and the media. She crossed the line in first place and a clear first place for Yolanda Neff.
popular member of the tour and a winner as well. Don't leave us just yet. We will see the riders pick up their medals. And when we do, we'll hear the national anthem of Switzerland. Proud cycling nation. What a performance it was from the young Swiss rider. She was really superb today. Some of her timings on this course as well. After the first lap, she did the first lap in 19 minutes 13 seconds. Second lap, 20. To the second lap, she completed 27 minutes and 39 seconds. And her was at the third split time. By the end of the second lap, 37 minutes and six seconds. And it was a really superb performance from Yolanda Neff. Sometimes we don't expect much less from her, but before this competition, Ella Moina, the reigning champion, not here. She was the favourite. She had the number one on her jersey, the number one on her bike, and the number one ranking. But you still have to come here and you still have to perform. And that's exactly what she did. She truly was an inspiration for those who'd love to get into this sport. She truly is an inspiration and to be an inspiration at 25 as well. Two other fine riders, Pauline Ferrand and Prevost of France on the left. Gita Michels of Belgium on the right. And this has been a day. It's not over by any means. The halfway point of the mountain biking event, really, because the men come later on today, about 2.30 local time. This shows how much they've enjoyed it. Waiting. A little look in the mirror. Herself ready for the medal presentation, which she'll be in the middle of that to pick up her gold medal, Yolanda Neff. She enjoys the spotlight. Enjoys the use of social media as well. Always responding to her fans. People following how well she's doing, and she's doing very well, as you can see. And Neff leading the race pretty much from the opening lap. Maybe her only challenge in the opening few kilometers of the race. The medal ceremony of the we go. cross country and mountain bike. There are three medalists in the middle, Yolanda Neff of Switzerland. At the front, Pauline Ferron Prevot, known as PVP, or PFP, I should say. And then in third place, Gita Michels of Belgium. That smile hasn't disappeared off Yolanda Neff's face since she crossed the, the lines. And the European Champions jersey will be presented by UEC, a management committee a member, Henrik Jesse Jensen. Jensen, UEC management committee member. He will present the jersey for the European Deputy champion. Leader of Glasgow City Council, and Councillor good. David McDonald. Council. Councillor David McDonald. Winner the, of the bronze the medal, representing Belgium, Gita Michels. Hear the popular cheer there for Gita Michels. Step forward to pick up her bronze medal. One of the highlights of her long career. You can see how much it means to her. Certainly one of her best performances of her career. Winner the best performance of, of her career. Medal, representing France. Pauline years of age. Ferrand Prevost. Ferrand Prevost. Pauline Ferrand Prevost. They would have been deep inside. She perhaps felt she could have challenged Neff today. But that silver medal is still worth a lot to her. An excellent display. And she was never really challenged for the silver talk about Neff for that gold medal, but no one really challenged her after she got in front of Benrita Dala Flesher in the second lap. Since then, no one got near her for that silver medal. Winner of the gold medal and women's cross country and mountain bike European champion, representing Switzerland, Yolanda Neff. Yolanda Neff will step forward to pick up her gold medal, a deserved gold medal.
and the European champion jersey will slip that one over her world champion one, which she'll look to put back on top again very soon. And there you go, recognition. She's not seen that jersey for a couple of years now. At the age of 25 to win her third European title, that's some achievement. And she'll be on the road towards Tokyo to win the medal that the medal that eludes her at the moment, Olympic gold. But time is on her side. Well, there's our gold medalist, Yolanda Neff of Switzerland. And we wait the anthem. smiled throughout that anthem and smiled throughout most of her celebrations after winning her third European title. She is our gold medalist, European champion of 2018. The silver to Pauline Ferrand-Privot of France and the bronze to Gita Michels of Belgium. A fine race, a fine morning's action. Ladies here. Especially Gita Mikuls, she will be delighted with that bronze medal. That's a career highlight for her. 35 years of age, what a performance to come through and hold off the challenge of Maya Vlashovska, who she's known on the circuit for so many years. And these three hold out their medals. And the one in the middle, Yolanda Neff. Absolutely imperious today. A superb display from the young Swiss rider to remember that she's won so much already and there's still so much more to come she held off all her rivals today a field of 37 couldn't get near her